Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here. Lots and lots of people come to see me and the biggest thing I get asked about is can I hit the golf ball further than I do at the moment? Key ingredient to that, once you feel that you can find the centre of the club face fairly consistently, is can you increase that club head speed? Now, in order for us to maximise our club head speed, we need to know how to create power in the correct way. Now, once we get to the top of the backswing, big thing we see with a lot of guys is that from here, it's all kind of upper body and all arms. But you're never going to generate your maximum club head speed until you can start to generate power and speed from the ground up with something called the kinematic sequence. So when that sequence is correct, what you will find from here is you get to the top, you kind of push from the ground, the lower body unwinds. As the lower body unwinds, it starts to slow, which transfers energy into the torso, which turns. Then that slows down, transferring the speed and the energy through the hands and arms and into the club head. So ideally, what we're looking for from here is there and go. Now, like I said, the big, big challenge for a lot of guys is they don't generate that speed in that way. They will use all upper body, and that also creates not just a lack of speed, but also a real inconsistency in the shape of the shot. Now, I see a lot of things, and there's a lot of videos out there, and I've done a couple of videos about how to start the downswing, but I think guys get far too caught up with thinking about it too much a really, really easy way to see how you naturally generate speed is to literally get a golf ball and throw it down the range. And what you'll see is as you stand side on and throw, is that from there, you'll push with the feet from the floor, the hips will unwind, then the torso will go, then the arm. So most of us, as long as we throw in that way, most of us will already know how to use that sequence. If you stand there and throw like that, could be an issue. There's ways around that. But most people, when they throw a ball, their sequencing is fantastic. So the little drill we're going to use, and you need to use your imagination a little bit of this, because I don't want any comments below about us losing golf clubs, is you're going to swing to the top as normal, and then as you start your downswing, you're going to feel like you're going to throw the club as far as you can down the range. So like I said, we're going to get back. Throw it down the range. And again, throw it down the range. Okay, so once we've done a few swings feeling like the throw in the club down the range, the key then is we're going to put the ball up on the tee again. And again, we're going to feel like we're going to throw the club down the range. Now, this is going to work really well in a couple of ways. Yes, we're going to use that sequence correctly. But one of the big issues I see with golfers is that the practice swings can look fantastic, but when they actually go to hit the shot, they're focusing so much on making contact with the golf ball that they're actually tightening up by impact and actually slowing down. So if we're accelerating to begin with, but slowing down into impact, we're never going to maximize our speed. So also, this drill is going to work great because the thought of throwing the club the club is still accelerating through to that target down the range. So the target's no longer at the bottom of the swing. We're going to be accelerating through that golf ball. So initially, you just have to go with it. You might miss hit a couple, might not go where you want, but see if you can maintain that speed that we've been doing in the drill. So we're going to swing to the top and then really feel like we throw the club down the range. I mean, that was great. Right out the middle, little draw for me. So again, and like I said, you have to practice this. If this is something you take straight to the first tee, I would very much doubt you'll trust yourself with this. But if you can get there and have a little, even a practice swing, feeling like you throw it, if you then know when you swing like that, it gives you a little five-yard fade or a 10-yard draw, you can aim for that. Set yourself up, so I'm going to aim touch right, 
Swing back as normal. Feel like I throw the club down the driving range. Again, there's my little draw. Absolutely perfect. So guys, hopefully that little drill, feeling like you're throwing the club down the range, will help you get that sequencing correct, help you get using the ground initially for the power and then using your body in the correct way to maximize that club head speed, increasing that club head speed. As long as we're still fine in the middle of the club face, that's fine. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Leave any comments below. Uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover that would help your golf game. Uh, hopefully see some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.